hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in this video we'll go over problem maximize set bits from status 42 as many people were asking for this problem uh, also if there is some background noise please ignore that because i am at my home now because of some vacations uh, so i cannot help the background noise if there is some yeah so let's see the problem so in the problem yeah so in the problem we have been given two integers n and k and we have to construct some array of size k so of, of size n that is a1 a2 a4 so on till let's say n let's call this array a and we have to construct this array such that sum of all these elements is equal to k sum of all these elements is equal to k that is summation of ai where i goes from 1 to n is equal to k uh, also we have been defined a function we have, de we have been defined a function f where f, f of a says uh, number of set bits number of set bits in all elements of array a in all elements of array a right uh, so given some n and k given some n and k we have to tell the maximum value of f of a that we can achieve so given some n and k uh, let's say we construct some array a1 a2 a and so such uh, so on and we have to tell the uh, let's say its, its value is f of a then we have to tell the maximum value of f of a that we can achieve so maximum f of a that we can achieve so we have to tell that as as our answer right so basically we have to construct an optimal array that will give us the optimal f of a value right so that's basically the question but what is the optimal array that you can generate that will help you get that optimal f of a value so how can we do this uh, so basically the problem is greedy here so how can you show that the problem is greedy let's see that uh, let's say let's say your k is equal to 8 right let's say your k is equal to 8 so in uh, in binary form i can write it as 1 0 0 0 right and let's say your n is equal to 4 so you can like form your elements to something like this And your k is equal to 8 so this is 1 0 0 0 this is your a1 this is your a2 this is your a3 this is a4 so let's in the starting assume i set my i set my a1 equal to 8 so i can say there's a 1 here and uh, a1 8 and all the a2 a3 a4 are 0 right but you know my f of a is equal to number of set bits right this is equal to number of set bits so i want to maximize the number of set bits so but uh, you can see here is if i remove this one if i remove this one i can set two ones in the i i minus one bit right then i can set these one i, I can set these zeros equal to one so if i remove one if i remove one from here i can set two ones in my previous bit right so it is better to me because it will help me to maximize f it, it will help me to maximize my f of a value right so you can observe that observation if i remove one bit if i remove one bit from ith bit i can add two bits I can add two bits in i minus oneth bit, right? Similarly, you can see that my these bits are empty, so I can remove this one and add two more extra ones here. Similarly, I can remove this one and add, add two extra ones here, right? Similarly, I can remove this one and add two extra ones here. And similarly, I can add, uh, I can, uh, I can remove this one and add two extra ones here. 
So you can see the problem is greedy. So we have uh, we have to greedily fill our our our, our bits on the right side and uh, go on till MSB. Right. So the approach is greedily fill bits. from the right side up until sum reaches k and you have to greedily fill you have to greedily fill either n bits or n minus 1 bits you have to greedily fill either n bits or n minus 1 bits uh, so to explain this so to explain this Uh, let's say your number is something like one zero one. So let's say your k is equal to five, and your n is equal to four, right? So here your k is equal to five, so you can in binary five is equal to one zero one, so you can write one zero one here. So if you see, you have four slots here, right? You have four slots to fill your uh, last bit, but but you cannot fill all these slots with one, be because if you fill all these slots with one, you will not be able to match the parity, because the last bit of five, last bit of five has a one, and if you fill four ones here, the parity of last uh, bit will be equal to zero, so so the par par parities will not match, right? so the parities will not match so you you have to also match the parity so according to the parity you will either fill n or you will either fill n minus 1 bits here so in in the following case you cannot fill all the n bits so in this case we will fill only n minus 1 bits in the last bit right so accordingly you will go from the right side so that's what i said here so accordingly you will go from the right side and move up to uh, and move to the msb until the sum reaches k And greedily fill either n bits or n minus one bits, right? So that will be your solution. So how can you do this? So there are two ways to like implement this. Uh, one way is the way impl I imp I implemented this. Th that way is like kind of hard to understand if you don't have that much experience with bitwise operations. And there is a naive way to implement this. That is, uh, I think, a little harder to implement or like. a little long to implement but it is e but it is easier to understand right so let's see the naive way first how you, how you how you can implement this uh, so let's take an example and try to implement it right so let's take a, a example let's say k is equal to 43 k is equal to 43 in binary you can write it as 101011 and let's say n is equal to 5 right so this is my k this is say 1010 uh, sorry i need one extra bit here so this is my k this become 101011 right so in starting my k is equal to 43 my k is equal to 43 so you can see the parity here the parity here is 1 right so you can add an odd or you you can add an you can add an odd, odd number of ones here so my n is equal to 5 that is odd so i can add 5 ones here also this is to the power 0 this is to the power 1 this is to the power 2 This is to the power three. For some reason, my drawing pad is lagging. So sorry for the small delays. Right. So I have I have removed five ones from this. So now my k will become equal to thirty eight. Right. So now my k will become equal to thirty eight. Uh, so now uh, if you see here, so now I have added five ones here. So now there will be a carry of two. Right. these two ones we will give a carry of one and these two one will also give a carry of one so there are, are there are two additional ones here right so to match a parity of one 
uh, we we already have two ones and so i can add more more five ones here so these five ones plus these two extra ones will give us seven ones that are also odd so my parity is still satisfied so i can add five ones here so now it, now i uh, i here removed minus five into two to the power zero now i will here remove minus five into two to the power one because here here the value of this bit is one so it will it will remove two to the power one so now my k will become equal to 28 so now there there are seven ones here so they will contribute three ones as carry they will contribute three three ones as carry right so here my parity is zero so i have to add an even number of ones here right so i can still add five ones here i can still add five ones here because I have three ones as carry as well. So these five ones, let me take an, 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 another color. So these three ones and these five ones will, will contribute total eight ones here. These will contribute eight ones that is even. So it is okay, right? So I can again subtract minus five into two to the power two here. So that is minus five into 420. So I will be left with eight here. So now uh, these eight ones, will contribute how much uh, it it will contribute uh, four carries here right because eight by four is equal uh, eight by two is equal to four so it will give me four ones as carry. and as you can see here uh, i have to keep a parity of one here I, I i i have to keep a parity of one here so i have to add an odd number of ones but my value of k is only equal to eight so i cannot add more than one one here right because if, if I want to add greedily, I can add five ones here. I can I can greedily add five ones here. But my only left value of k is equal to eight. So I cannot add more than one ones, right? So I, I cannot add more than one ones. So I will just add one one here. That is minus one into two to the power three. That is now my k becomes equal to zero. So that is the final answer. So how many ones have we added? We have we have added five ones. Let me color it. So we have added five ones here. We have we have added five ones here. We have added five ones here, and we, we have added one one here. So my answer is equal to sixteen, right? So my so my answer is equal to sixteen. So that is the naive way to implement this. So you just keep on you check the parity. You take care of the you take care of the carry. You carry forward the carry, and you just check the parity and assign n or n minus one ones according to that right and you just count the number of ones you have assigned so that will be the, that will be the naive implementation of this uh, so if you want to implement this smartly if you want to implement this smartly what you can do is you can just check for k equal to 43 right this is one zero one zero one zero one one and you can see that the parity is odd so you can assign five ones here so you so you can uh, subtract five and your k will become equal to 38 your k will become equal to 38 right so now you know that you have you have used your to the power zero now you have you now you have used your to the power zero so now so now you know that your number will, will be multiple of now you know that your new number that your new number will be a multi multiple of two to the power one right so instead of working on two to the power one or two to the power two or two to the power three or uh, go going forward you can you can divide this number by two you can divide this number by two so you can divide this by two so now your number will become equal to 19. you no longer need to work with two to the power one right so you have like you have again uh, converted your bigger problem into the smaller sub problem so now you can uh, again check the parity of 19 so uh, 19 is odd so you again remove five ones here right you again remove five ones here your k will become equal to 14 right you you again divide k by 2 your k becomes equal to 7 again your k is odd so you again remove 5 from this now your k will become equal to 2 now you divide k by one now you again your k is odd you will remove you 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 can remove five but, but the number is one right so you cannot remove five you can you cannot remove five from this so you remove one from this so your answer so your number will become equal to 
zero, right? So again, you can see and your answer is your answer is sixteen here. So this is a very well-known trick. If you if you have done some bitwise problems, it is a very well-known trick that uh, if you have used your to the power zero operations and your number is a multiple of to the power one, like you can half your number and like you can similarly transform your operations. Uh, I think I saw a problem like this in Google Code Jam once, right? Uh, that use the similar trick where you divide num did divide a number by true to transform your operations and stuff like that so these are the two imp these are the two implementations uh, one is the naive one and one is a little smarter that's uh, that helps you transform your operations right so let me write it down right one is the naive implementation check parity and keep track of carry and in smarter implementation rephrase your operations That is divide k by two, check parity, and assign accordingly. Right. So that will be solution. Uh, I think somebody in my last video commented. Commented the naive code, and if you want to see the smarter code, uh, here it is. I think yeah. So if the parity is same, I remove n ones. Otherwise, I I remove n minus one ones, right? Uh, also, I'm keeping a min here. Uh, uh, like in the case if my n exceeds k, then I will only remove k, right? So I I remove the contribution and then I divide k by two. That is, and then I just add the number of ones to my own. So, so that was the solution to the problem. And if you guys have a doubt, do let me know in the comments, and I will be happy to help you out. Also, if you guys don't know, Continue Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long, and it is totally based on pay after placement model. And you don't have to pay anything. There is zero hidden fees. There is zero upfront fees, and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees five lakhs. And the average package is rupees seven lakhs, and the highest package is over rupees twenty six lakhs. So it is a very great opportunity. Also, all their mentors are from top MNCs like Google, Flipkart, Zomato, etc. Also, they will get you placed into the top MNCs as well, like Google, Flipkart, Zomato. Uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies, and you can land a job at those companies yourselves. Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think that yeah, I'm not coding. I don't have any fresh air. I don't have any fresh air. The course is over six months long, and they will teach you from scratch. So you can still sign up for this. And if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field, this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for. And if you uh, want to land a job, I highly uh, I highly vouch for this. And uh, if you guys want to sign up, there will be a link down below, and you can go and sign up from there. So. Yeah, you know, be sure to sign up for this and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.